the forehead of your robot. I am so traumatized of what I saw. If you do not know who I am, my name's Peter, my favorite show in history is none other than Spongebob Squarepants. You know, the show about a sponge that likes going jellyfishing, working at the Krusty Krab, blowing bubbles, and his friends. Let me tell you the story about a DVD that changed my opinion on Spongebob, forever. One day I was searching through an old DVD box, until I found a lost Spongebob DVD. I was excited, I took the DVD to my room and put the disc in my DVD player. I grabbed some popcorn and got ready to watch the DVD. The Nickelodeon fish came up, but the differences are the fish is blood red, it had bloodshot eyes, there were scars over the fins and the lips were dark blood red. After that, it took me to the menu. It was pretty nice to look at, the menu has Spongebob in a background of Kong Street. The menu had only one option, the play button. I pressed play so I can watch the episode. Just then a warning came up, it said. Warning. The following DVD was made to promote the movie, it, despite not being made by Nickelodeon. If you're seeing this, you will regret watching this DVD, because it contains scenes, and or language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion, is advised. Ah crap. I said. The intro played like normal, except when it got to the end, Spongebob looked at the camera instead of playing his nose like a flute. Spongebob also had bags under his bloodshot eyes, a short but sinister smile, and ripped clothes. The title card came up saying, The Main Corpse. I laughed because there was a pun, like some Spongebob episodes. The episode began at the Krusty Krab, and then a customer walked in. The customer was wearing the same clothes Spongebob wore. He must be a big fan of Spongebob like me. I said to myself. Squidward says. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. Sorry I thought you were Spongebob. I'll eat a Krabby Patty. The customer said to Squidward. How original. How f***ing original. Squidward said. This shocked me. No one in the show swore before. Spongebob, get this customer a plain Krabby Patty. Squidward yelled. Coming right up. Spongebob said. When Spongebob opened the Patty Vault, there was nothing inside. Spongebob screams, but it didn't sound fake, it sounded like his voice actor Tom Kenny was witnessing no food in his fridge. We're out of patties! Spongebob yelled. Then Spongebob hatches an idea, he peeks his head out of the kitchen window telling the customer in a demonic voice. I'm sorry, we're currently out of patties, so I'm afraid you'll have to do them. That scared the pants out of me. Spongebob had blood dripping out of his black eyes with glowing red pupils and sharp fangs. He grabs the customer by the tie and yeets him into the kitchen. I'll be with the order right away, Squidward! Says Spongebob. Squidward was traumatized by what was gonna happen in the kitchen. Spongebob, in his demonic state, grabs his spatula and inserts it in the customer's stomach, then he takes it out as the customer screamed in agony. Spongebob later fries the head of the customer as he screams even louder. Spongebob then chops the head of the customer and puts it between the two seaweed sea buns, then puts the rest of the ingredients in between them. I had to pause the DVD to vomit in a bucket. I later pressed play to continue the episode. After the murder, Spongebob said in his normal voice. Order up! Before finishing his sentence, he finds out that everyone in the restaurant left, including Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Huh! <gasps> All the customers left! Spongebob said. I must have taken the long on his order. Oh well, I'll just leave it here for the rats. The camera then pans to the floor with Plankton. <laughs> Finally! He shouts. The Krabby Patty's mine. Time to see what's in the secret formula. As Plankton takes off the top bun, he finds the deceased customer's head. The camera then pans to Plankton's face for three seconds before he stabs his eye with a needle, causing him to die. The credits were the same as every episode, but the background was red instead of yellow. Then the United Plankton Pictures logo came up, but it was different. There was blood dripping out of the sea creature's eyes and the water was blood red. Then the Nickelodeon logo came up, also different. The splat was blood red and in the shape of Spongebob, the text was the same color as the background and reversed, and there was French text at the bottom of the screen. I paused the episode to translate it using Google Translate. The translator said. 
Next time, the next Krabby Patty will have you in it. After the Nickelodeon logo, it took me back to the menu. I was so traumatized of what the episode had, SpongeBob has no right to put customers in Krabby Patties. I had to take out the DVD, put it back in its case, and I threw it in the trash can. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Not this DVD, which I'm about to send to a landfill. I said. I was never able to look at SpongeBob the same way ever 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 again.